DeSantis did something very interesting, and I want to get your take on this, Tom, specifically you as well, and uh, see, see what your thoughts on this. So Florida passes law banning social media for minors under the age of 14, okay? The story comes out, I believe, Rob, yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, right? And here's what the story tells. Um, Ron DeSantis signed legislation Monday that prohibits people under the age of 14 from having social media accounts, regardless of parental consent. One of the most restrictive laws aimed at curbing social media access for minors under the new law, uh, social media companies are required to close accounts believed to be used by minors under the age of 14. The platforms must also cancel accounts at the request of parents or minors, and all information from the accounts must be deleted. The law is set to take effect on January 1st, 2025. Minors who are 14 or 15 years old can obtain a social media account with parental consent. According to the new law, accounts already belonging to teens of that age must be deleted if a parent or guardian hasn't consented. Tom, thoughts on this? This is a very good law. We have the data, but you know what? The tech sector doesn't want to look at it. We have data on young girls and depression uh, that is directly related to social media. We have data on sexting and bullying of underage kids. We have data of, of trafficking and predators that are coming out to prey on these impressionable kids that are looking for validation, looking for someone to like them. And so now what we're saying is, hey, we're not just going to, what if you're a single mom? What if you're really busy? What if you just didn't know? Nope. We're giving you some support. And the support we're giving you is the law and the requirements are in there is that they can't have an account and they can't be doing this. And kids are going to say, but I want it, but I want it, but I want it. Well, look, you know, when I was 17, you know, I, you know, in in Florida at the time, uh, I wanted, I wanted to be able to drink, but I couldn't, it wasn't legal. I couldn't go to any places. And they changed the age of 19, finally to 21. So sometimes what the law is there, because what you want, it's good for you not to get it. So and is there this anything is good... about it, Tom, that you're uncomfortable with? Think think the other way around. Like, is there anything for you where you say, ah, I think it's a slippery slope? Or are you like, nope, I'm 100% with it and I support it? I'm with it and I support it because of the data that we have on depression, bully, bullying, trafficking, and predators. We have data. Did okay, you... got it. So, and, 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 and but you, did you miss, what, what was the stat for... The whole uh, LGBTQ trans chopping of your genitalia off. How, mu- how much is that the, going on? There's up a lot of ages? influential things in there, but I'm just talking about we have data on depression, bullying, sex trafficking, and predators. Yeah, no, and, and I'm, I'm, all, I'm all for it because at 14, what do you like? You have uh, those parents that just give their kids the tablet or the phone and they just walk away from them. I think it's really, really irresponsible. I think up to 14, that's a. It's a and, great law. I and agree. we say I'm, you can't have a driver's license till you're 16, 16. because mm-hmm. there's certain judgments and things that we want to. Yeah, Rob, 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 where, Rob, where are you with this, Rob? I'm fine. Where, where are you with this? I have a 14 year old. I wouldn't want him on social media at 14. So I, I, I'm definitely pro banning it for kids under the age of 14. I, I don't know how old your daughters are, Tom, but I, my, my 14 year old has a cell phone, but he's only allowed to use it when it's the weekends. Or during the week when he has to contact his mother. Other than that, he's not allowed to have his cell phone because what happens? They get in that doom scrolling where right. all they do is scroll. Yeah. I don't want them th- that to be his life. At this age, we have to be in front of devices. You run uh, many companies. You have to be attached to your computer, your iPad, your phone. These kids don't need to be. So why are we putting it in their, dev- and, and in Rob, their faces I'm, now? Rob, and oh, and all minor, the apps. Mine are 17, 12. I'm on the same page. Yeah, yeah. Rob, but, but the apps that you allow on the phone, that's up to you. Your, your kid can't go on there and download an app by himself, can he? On the fourteen-year-old, um, he can. He I, has I, I'd have to check. His mother set up the cell phone. Well, that's what I was going to say. Prior to that, we had a thing called a Gizmodo. It was a watch where literally he could only make phone calls to like four people, and he could only receive incoming calls from people who knew that number. It was a perfect setup because if we ever needed to get a hold of him, we could call him. But Did he you was have any not issues texting. with that or no? Did you like? No, that? I loved it. It was okay. fantastic. But it got to the age where. All the other kids in school had a smartphone. Dad, that's can I have it. a smartphone? Mm-hmm. Okay, we can have one, but yeah. we're going to set up limitations. That's, a, with that's it. a good point. By the way, I want to give a shout out to Robert. By the way, last week was spring break, and I hope you don't mind I tell the story, but the call, his son called him, and he's like, hey, I want to stay and play video games. Can I get access? Rob goes, go outside, kid. Go play. 
I think I, not? I think I, I think I was there when you did that. Yeah, I don't allow because again, when you get to our age, you have to be inside. You have to yeah. work nine Good hours you, a day. Rob. You have, but yeah. being outside—that was the best part of being yeah. a kid. Was meeting other kids in the neighborhood, riding bikes. That's how you form friendships, bonds forever. It's not on the internet. By the it's way, not shout, out, shout out to yeah. Rob and and Vinny. You guys do a phenomenal job on unusual suspects. For so some of you guys that tune into these guys, you guys had twenty seven hundred people live watching live. last week. Last week, yeah, I'm excited about what you guys and Rob speaks there a lot with Vinny. But Love you, Rob. Adam. What are your thoughts on this? What, what, what do you want to say about this? Well, look, I don't have kids like this, but, you know, I'm very close with my nephew. It's like my best friend, 11 years old. I do not want that kid anywhere in your social media. All my best friends, all my closest cousins, they all have kids yeah. that are in elementary, middle school. And all I do is I see these kids on their tablets, 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 tablets. Like, put the phone nugget. When we were growing up, dude, basketball, football, baseball, you know, hide and seek. What, just go outside and play. You, know, you talked about the... Potential porn, sex trafficking, oh, weird horrible. stuff. Horrible. Obviously, that will eliminate that. Hopefully, those creepers will find a way. There's another side to this. You know, we didn't grow up with social media. We didn't have anxiety and depression and all sort of the issues that young people are dealing with today. We would go outside. We would deal yeah, with the real world. You had to be world. social. You had to be social, not, yeah. not on social not media. On, yeah, exactly. And that shapes you. This is the most influential, impressionable time of your life. Yep. You know, when you're 6 to 16, let's say. Mm -hmm. And when this new thing that never existed when we were growing up is just pumping stories, algorithms, weird stuff into your life every single day, dude, we have no clue. Yeah. What the, so Rory, my nephew, has an Apple Watch. If he needs to call someone, Apple Watch. There it is right there. I, I'm sure there's people that are going to object to this. I'm sure social media companies are uh, um, going to object to this. I'm sure there's going to be backlash. But I got to give credit to Ron DeSantis for a very good idea. Yeah. So, so, you know, I think the only thing is for some people that use the, the, the technology that's being managed by the parents and they use it as an album to later on hand it over to them when they're mm -hmm. of the age, if those things get taken down, it'll be interesting because that takes a long time to gather and put together. And, and uh, you know, I, again, I think it's extreme but am I more this than against it? 100%. Mm -hmm. The fact, it, it'll, be, it'll be very interesting for him to do this on who's going to get upset about a decision like this being made when it's made. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure if you guys heard. Uh, PBD is pretty big on social media. Um, you have kids. You have four kids. Brooklyn's running around the house being the boss. Mm -hmm. When are you going to allow your kids to start doing stuff on social media? Do, like having a phone to do stuff on social? Oh, all the bro, above. Dude. All the above. No, no. There is no conversation about it. Dylan right now is convinced he's not getting to a phone mm -hmm. until he's 16 years old. Okay. You ask Dylan right now what age he thinks he's getting a phone. It's 16 years old. Now, are they probably going to end up something earlier? Yes. Social? Zero interest for anything to do with social. When I tell you zero, I mean zero interest for anything with social I'm not even having a conversation until the age is 14. Zero. I'm not having that conversation until then. And even then, I may skip it, go one more year and one more year and one. The hardest thing is for you, like the other day, I love what Dylan said to one of his kids, one of his friends. I'm around some of his friends and his friend's like, hey, listen, this is how I did it. Your dad's eventually going to give in. Okay. And I'm listening. He's going to cave. And Dylan says, you don't know my dad. <laughs> <laughs> so, I love that. I love yeah, that. He said that to his friend. I'm super interested in, in your take on this specifically as the CEO of Entertainment. Your kids actually have a social media profile. 100% managed by me. That's what I'm saying. It's my. So break that down for me. Yeah, I like, manage it myself. Okay. Uh, because later on, if they're going to do something with sports, with movies, with docs, whatever it is, they're going to be able to go back. And it's such an easy system to give them an album instead of my phone's got 60,000 pictures, hmm. you know, and you have to go through it. I like what Apple does when you just kind of click on a face and you're able to go see all the pictures by that person's face. And I like that. Boom. Um, by the way, I don't even know why my phone has your face here. Check this out. Like That's I can it? go to your face. No, I literally have one that I go to. The other day I sent a video to Adam on yeah, Sunday morning. I was surprised he texted back. I thought he'd be asleep. But so I like that. What time did I text you back? Actually, BBD? pretty early. So that means you didn't party Saturday night. What? Oh, I, had a man, I had a triathlon on Sunday. <laughs> okay, I swear. Whatever. A triathlon, not like a drinking like thing. Well, like three a, girls or what's three it, girls and, and alcohol like or guys, three different dates. I can't or, reveal my secrets. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't triathlon and tell. Right. Just Snorting, know that drinking, I was drinking, screwing. I, yeah. Probably the modern triathlon. Just like you back in the day, Tom. 